I, I could literally start immediately. A wee mowit. I could start immediately. A wee mowit. How you like that, dude? A wee mowit. We on, baby. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And then I popped on. Carlin came on. Listen to his. He's got a new one against the Japanese. He's still. He's on the third one of that. He's still going. Which hard. I feel a little uneasy listening to anymore. Really? <laughs> no. But it was funny. Just uh, they were talking about. He was talking about Pearl Harbor. Yeah. And how like historically, it's like one of the dumbest fucking decisions ever. To like military planners today are like, why would they do that? Well, I mean, obviously hindsight's you know two or, nukes, but still, it's funny to just double F. Could have been a double F. No, I, how would it be a false flag? Because they're like, we just want to go attack the Japanese. So we hired the Japanese to attack us? I don't know. N- no, you the think false... someone faked it? It could have been you actors. Can't fake... It could have been actors. You think there was a ja- <laughs> the Japanese Navy was in on it? They're like, it was, hey, it was we'll two help planes, you guys right? In Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Did you, what? It was two planes that crashed in Pearl Harbor, just one. You could easily fake a Pearl Harbor. Do you think Pearl Harbor was 9-11? I'm saying if you're saying I'm I'm just throwing it out there. If you're saying that it was didn't make any sense. No, but it was more than two planes. How many was it? Probably like a hundred. Hundred planes and attacked it was the Pearl Harbor. It was the aircraft carriers. I thought it was just like two little prop planes crash, and everyone was like, "Ah, what the fuck?" Oh, really? You yeah. thought it was like I thought it was two like, shitty planes, <laughs> and we like, were like, "Oh, we're going to war." Dude. I thought it was like two propeller planes came in. And it was that was it Did was you a, really? Yeah, I swear to God. No, it was. I mean, it was a huge operation. Yeah, they're big planes. They brought their Navy. Damn. Yeah, it was war. The Navy pulled up, and then the planes... It was was aircraft carriers. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah, they brought the boys out. Fuck. Yeah. So they, like, totally devastated it. Yeah, if it was two planes, it would have gone almost unnoticed. That's what I was saying. I was like, you wouldn't even know. It would be like, just... That could be anyone flying a shitty plane into, like... (laughs) So it was the boys pulled off. They for really went for it. Okay. Which is, and it, yeah, it's documented. Gotcha. So now the false flag comes in where did we know they were going to do it? And that's be what like, it was. All right, go ahead. Because there is some weird shit about us taking some ships out of that harbor. Mm-hmm. Some like good ships that could have just happened to not be docked that day. Could have held them off. That not would have held them off, but would have been shitty to, to lose for us. You know? I got you. So we like kind of kept some old shitty ships. For them to blow up. Yeah. And be like, oh, you got us. Well, it's also weird. Yeah, like back then, people didn't just like overseas, overseas, like stealth fly over. There was like a mass of ships coming for probably several days. And I'd imagine the U.S. military was scoping the waterways and being like, yo, bro, uh, the Japanese a- Navy's on the way. You're like, say what? Yeah, maybe. They Yeah, I mean, there was like radio stuff where they would be like, oh, fuck, something's happening. Yeah. Where are they going to hit? Oh, the closest island to them? They thought it was going to be around there. Right. Which I think they did get hit, too. Like, Guam and shit like that. But. Who knows? Regardless, I thought it was funny to... Like, I've never heard historians talk about how fucking stupid that was. (laughs) Like, because, I I don't know, for some reason you think of it as, like, an even matchup, the U.S. and Japan Mm -hmm. in World War II. But it wasn't. Yeah. It was, like... Yeah, that's what It was literally just sucker punching the biggest guy in the room. It was and a short, then being it was like, a sh- oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's still up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, why did you think you were going to knock him out? Yeah, that, no, that makes sense. It's, I mean, it is tight to roll up with your Navy and be like, what's up, guys? Yeah, fuck Phone you guys going to do, dude. It's like, dude, don't you know you have, like, space bombs and shit, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you guys doing? Get yeah, out of here. fuck you up for this. I mean, they did. Yeah. That was pretty minimal, too. They killed, like, what, like, a couple hundred people? Uh, Yeah, was I mean, it was, probably, yeah, it was in probably, like, less than 2,000. Uh, I think. No, it was... Yeah, so they, nine, they, they about nine eleven. They they hit us with a good nine eleven. All right, so they gave us a classic the f- 9-1-1. First pitch though, that's the good first punch was a nine eleven, and then yeah, sit back. Like, oh, they were winning up front the first first like year year that two. first that year that they were war? fucking us up. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we were just loading these huge bombs <laughs> yeah, and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever yeah, you guys yeah, think yeah. you're doing. Yeah, it sucks. It's about to become a humongous. They were attacking us with like swords and whistles, <laughs> and just charging. <laughs> And it was like, all right, well, we're gonna just have some, yeah, some like, Jewish just... dude build a nuke. <laughs> uh, fucking, I listened to Carlin's hardcore history on Japan. Mm. <sighs> Skull, Pearl scorching. Harbor. <sighs> you what they get did? you going, dude? What they do? You ought to get you going. What they do? Yeah, they just fucking snuck attack, dude. Very dishonorable. That is pretty dishonorable. They that was something they debated. Was it wasn't honorable? Who debated? Oh, the, the when, they, when they're planning the uh, yeah, when the, the admiral attack. admiral he fucking proposed Pearl Harbor, and they were like, "This isn't honorable." 
Hmm. It's not how Japanese warriors fight. So how they did they kamikaze Pearl Harbor? No, I don't think they were kamikazes. Okay, so they just flew planes. Just, well, that was Japan's it was, it weird. Was, it, was, it was a sneak attack. They, the war was there was no war. They just attacked us. Unpro- not necessarily unprovoked. Well, the but. funny part is how like Japan was just like a pure. They were isolationists, right? Not and at that point. We can't. I thought we came up. Yeah, we came up to them basically. They were isolationists, and we came up and we're like, "Open your fucking ports and docks." That's like 17th century. So that's way back when. Yeah, which the, is crazy. The Dutch and I, the Dutch were another people, dude, who the, were motherfuckers. The Dutch dude. in Europe were pretty isolated. Yeah, but they had the you know the India, mm-hmm. the Dutch East trading the company, Indies. Yeah. yeah, they fucking yeah, they were wild. Yeah, they're mother. They're down in Africa too. Trade. Aren't they? Yeah, all trade. Yeah. But dude, the uh, but uh, yeah, apparently America discovered Japan, and or they went to Japan like, yo, like no more whatever the fuck weird costume shit you guys have going on here. You're gonna open the ports and trade with us. Yeah, and they and were like, like we'll right. open one port. That's and they, what they did. They just fucking got all of our technology, figured it out. Next thing you know, they just flew a plane. And we're like, we're dropping bombs on you guys. Fuck you <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you want to play? Well, what happened was they were really fucking up China. Okay. They were destroying China, like raping. Just they yeah. were butt fucking China, literally. And they were invade. Yeah. Damn. Quite a few documented butt fucks. <laughs> what the but fuck? They were also uh, they were just taking other islands and they sure. were expanding. Like their empire was huge, and we were supplying their oil. What year was this roughly? This is the 30s. So, so the 30s, it was massively was accepted a, to go into another country and just fuck every, literally fuck people into submission. It wasn't accepted by the Japanese though. It was like, oh yeah, they didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they were like completely yeah, on board with this. They were like, why are you guys like? Well, <laughs> their opinion was it was better that they were colonizing than white people. So like, we got to fuck these guys. They were faster. like, we we're taking all of Asia. It's ours. Okay. Uh, but then they, the United States. Instead of intervening, because there were a ton of Westerners in China yeah. that were like, this is crazy what's going on here. You're like, we're getting raped hard. There, there, there's a hard rape. There, there's a lot of rape. So it was like these dudes were coming like blurry genitals first. And blurry genitals <laughs> everywhere. Like just going wild. And then what's funny is there's a bunch of Japanese historians that deny it, which is still an issue. That say, it's like, still an issue that like, Japanese anyone? textbooks don't really acknowledge the atrocities. Makes sense. Well, there's so much shame, dude. I mean, compare that to fucking our textbook. Yeah. Well, I got like, the water, remember slavery? I got the watered down version in my grade school. Early on, yeah. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Even high school, they didn't really hit me with like a lot. I remember it definitely I also started, didn't really pay attention. Yeah, our history definitely filtered in. Like slavery was, oh, was for studied sure. that every fucking we, year. My, yeah, my history teacher cut a deal with me. Told me if I just like stopped disrupting the class, he would give me a B, and I was like, Word. "Incredible!" It's like wicked. <laughs> yeah, dude, you terrorized that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I actually liked him a lot. Into appeasement, he gave me. He, he tried to actually, appease. He your ended empire. up giving me guitar lessons, and we smoked weed together. It was pretty sick. Damn, that's kind of yeah, a sophomore. Yeah, we would like smoke weed, and he would give me guitar lessons, and that's when he cut the deal. He's like, "Bro, you have to stop fucking shouting yeah. shit out in class. The whole class goes into disarray." That's sick. It's like couldn't help it, bro. Yeah, you're Kim Jong Un, dude. They fired his ass. Yeah, well, I was. I was yeah. Kim Jong Un. Like, I have nukes. So, like, he doesn't have nukes, but what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna appease him. But so, uh, these guys deny it. So Japan was butt fucking China hard. Damn. And people were like kind of calling for intervention, but yeah. no one wanted to like have an all out war. So the United States was like, "We're gonna cut your fucking oil off because we were their oil. We without we were oil, fuel in the butt fucking. Yeah, we were the lube. Yeah, and I think we gave them like a year. Stop butt fucking. Like, Stop butt fucking. And if you don't stop bot fucking this year, we're done. So I'm just imagining all my little like Roman computer legions like running in and fucking bot fucking. <laughs> yeah, the Romans were. Yeah. So we were like, fun. no, what we sanctioned them. We were like, we're gonna cut your oil off in a year. Damn. And they, if if we did that, they were fucked. Nothing would work if they did that. For sure. So that's why they attacked Pearl Harbor. That's not a way to hold on to your oil supply. Yeah, but then there's oil supplies around that's held by European countries. Oh. In in the Pacific, so they tried to they try to backdoor. They attacked us? us and then started taking up as much resources as they could. And they had China, they could they, that was a ton of resources. True, yeah. yeah. Fuck These but bastards. They uh, yeah they fucking snuck attack, dude. Well, that was full back. That was game, full Game of Thrones back then. Yeah, like there especially, was, especially then, especially in the forties, it was it was go time. There might have been like two percent of americans who are like we shouldn't fucking bomb we shouldn't do this well i mean when they dropped the atom bomb i'm sure people were not too like totally stoked i'm I wonder sure what, everyone was fucking what stoked. percentage of people was like we're against that you know 
I bet it was incredibly low, especially that was towards that was the end of the war. True. I mean, people that was that was probably done. I mean, that was like getting the, the twin towers hit. There was probably people who were like so stoked yeah. on nuclear and the, the the atrocities they were committing. Yeah, to people that everyone knew. True. Like everyone knew people that were over there. Mm-hmm. It's like fucking get rid of these motherfuckers. They hit them with a fucking nuke. Hit them with a the nuke, and we're like, "Yo, chill." And we're like, they were like, "All right, we surrender." And then we hit them with another one. And we're like, "You better fucking stop." Make VCRs. <laughs> well, the, not the other one was like, "Sorry, we got to test this other one out." Well, the other bad. one again. The, I've said it before. The other one was like at Russia. It was like, "You guys better fucking chill too." We Damn. got a bunch of these dudes. We <laughs> looked at them in the eyes, and we're like, "You see what we're doing to these dudes? Better calm down." Dude, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that's. The Cold War was just a continuation of that. Of being like, yeah, we'll fucking do news. Yeah. You want to do news? We were allies, but then as soon as everybody got defeated and there were two empires there, it was mm-hmm. just like, all right, well, we got to fight you now. Yeah. But uh, hopefully they don't. Then uh, Pearl Harbor was... Why? There's some stories at the end of this thing that'll get your fucking dick hard for America. I bet, dude. There was like... It, it was early enough that on the one battleship, the Nevada, mm-hmm. they were still raising the flag. They were raising the American flag and the band was still playing the national anthem. And when the Japanese planes started firing on them, they kept playing the national anthem. They finished the anthem. Fucking, I always How hear shit like that. that. I'm like, you fucking idiots. I, get I know, right of course. Of <laughs> but dude, that's America. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Dude, how about the fucking thing we watched in theaters? The World War One oh, documentary. Yeah, let's get into that in a second. That was still wild. one more sick-ass thing. At, the, at it. the end of it is a Churchill quote about how when Pearl Harbor happened, he like was like, yes. He was like, as soon as Pearl Harbor happened and I knew the United States was in the war with us, he was like, it was over. Yeah. He's like, Hitler's, and, it, and it's Carlin's voice. So he's like, Hitler's fate was sealed. Mussolini's fate sealed. And Japan would be ground into a fined powder. Damn, dude. And then that fucking drum comes in and it's like, whoo. Holy fuck. That's dude, the, the U.S. is the shit. It is a They soul. were like, there's a bunch of the Japanese studied in America too. Mm-hmm. They went to like Harvard. Did they really? Pretty much like now. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Back then they were yeah. studying. Damn. Oh, they, they were like, that's when they got put in like internment camps and shit. Yeah, we, we can talk that. Yeah. They was, but they were like, if we go to war with the United States, you have no idea the industrial power of what we're up against. Like, I've seen the yeah. oil fields in Texas yeah. and the fields in the in the Midwest. Like, mm-hmm. if we go to war with them, we can't compete. Oh, they were going back to Japan and like, guys, yeah. do not fuck with this. Chill the fuck Don't out. Don't fuck with this thing. That's a sleeping giant, dude. If that Damn. thing wakes up, we are in trouble. Fuck, man. Uh, That's wild. But yeah, the, the Japanese internment camps. It also ties into that article. Mm-hmm. This article The Atlantic ran about the kids at the Lincoln Memorial with that Native American. Sure. He was like, don't be mad at this. Be mad at, like, American real atrocities. And then listed Japanese internment camps as one of them. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, that was... I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely not advocating for anybody in an internment camp. Yeah. But in World War II, 1940s, like... That's that's kind of fair game. Well, I mean, okay. is this a hot cast it's or are you and me just talking back and forth no, to each other? Cast, We're just catching up. This, this is what a podcast is. It's hot. It's 12 Drunk. minutes. Take a little B. And we're back. Oh, man, we're back. Oh, my God. We were just talking current events. Cause yeah, we were. Just trying to dig up some shit. We are just talking about how North Korea is wilding out. Yep. Ooh. What? Dude, apparently Amelia Earhart may have been captured by the Japanese. Damn, that's pretty sick. That's a sick theory. The Japanese fucking took her head off. Oh, dude, what the fuck do you think they did with her? Uh, don't uh, no. That's a girl oh. come up from the sky. A very good apart. <laughs> she was a stud. She Miller was a stud. stud. Dude. She was a big time stud. She, she had fucking, that scarf. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. She's fucking tying people Looking up. Looking like the Red Baron Pizza Man. Yep, dude. She's <laughs> eating people's <laughs> pussies, dude. <laughs> she was a fucking biplane, dude. Crashed down on Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I've, wait, what are they what are they saying about Japan? What is that? I don't know. They said a new photo may prove that Japan captured Amelia Earhart. What year was Amelia Earhart? Was that like the twenties? Uh nineteen thirty seven. Oh thirty seven? Yeah. Oh damn. So she was almost World War Two, dude. Yeah, she was probably the first shot. Yeah, they, she, we, were probably, they probably like, thought oh, Amelia was a bomb. Oh. All the raining women out on us. Oh, very it's, pretty white old lady. <laughs> Come on, go to just oh. murdered ten thousand of their citizens. Dude, we gave the Japanese what for in World War we II, did. dude. We gave them a hard we what for. <laughs> dude, that's what they got. They got fucking that flag, with, dude. That flag will pump you up, though. The Japanese flag? That, like, setting sun-looking oh. flag with the rays out. I'd be pumped up for that. Yeah, that's a sick Plus, one. Plus, they were, like, 
Empire of the they Sun, They fell dude. hard. Yeah, exactly. They, fucking... they were riding around in, like, BattleBots armor on fucking horses and shit with swords. Yeah. Then they were like, every, we came over, they're like, no, you guys are nerds. Take off the fucking samurai yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Stop dressing up cool. <laughs> yeah. All you need is a rifle <laughs> yeah. and a bunch of peasants standing in a line. You guys don't have to dress up like Transformers yeah. anymore. You guys we can take off your clothes. <laughs> and Gatling guns. Yeah. You can stop dressing like a mean sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> they go, oh, hey, oh, hey. A very good a sword. We have a sword. Like, no, dude. Who, who invented the Chinese? Invented all like the ammunition and fireworks. Gunpowder. Yeah. Gunpowder. Yes. And they were just lighting fireworks. And but like, you know what? I got in a fucking heated argument with a history teacher of mine in for what? in Westchester. My professor. Uh huh. And he was like, he he tried to say some white guilt bullshit, where he was for like, what? he was like. Well, the Chinese had gunpowder for centuries before the Europeans got it and weaponized it. And I was like, dude, are you trying to fucking tell me that the Chinese didn't weaponize gunpowder off a moral issue? Yeah. It's like, dude, these are the people fighting the fucking Mongolians. Yeah. That are, if you lose, they behead everyone and make a mountain out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, they had the moral compass to not Get turn gunpowder into a weapon. Here, dude. Seriously, he hit me with that. I believe he hit you with that. And at the time, I didn't realize how fucking insane that was that he hit. I mean, I, I, it was enough that I argued with him in class. It, what, in, in a class, I was like, is he, that's What's he basing true. that off of fucking Mulan, the Disney movie? Yeah, he saw Mulan. It was like, they also had talking dragons that Played told him, like, don't do it. <laughs> oh my god Wasn't Eddie Murphy the, No that's the donkey Who played the fucking dragon Wait the dragon Was Eddie Murphy Mulan. as well It was Eddie Murphy as well That was EM Damn, coming back dude. again Yeah dude we fucked Japan up Yeah Japan got fucking butt fucked You know what also is annoying to me What You hear a lot of people with history That are like The US was like super hard on J Like we shouldn't have dropped the nuke Yeah It's like dude Yeah They fucking had that one coming The nuke the fucking Japanese I don't deserved, know anything about it. They deserved to get nuked twice. What were they doing? The Japanese in World War II? They were being, I know they are being bad. They were bad boys. So they got the fucking... They got the fucking elbow. They got the stinky leg drop, dude. <laughs> they got the hardest fucking top rope fucking frog splash, dude. Twice. That's definitely like a group of 14-year-old kids talking shit. And someone's like, you won't do it. And one dude just throws a punch. And everyone's Haymaker. like, yo, fuck. Well, no. I mean, obviously Pearl Harbor. Yeah. They fucking threw the fucking first sucker punch. That could have been a false flag operation. There's a lot of gay rumors about false flag, <laughs> but whatever, whatever. Yeah, we were like, all right, please hit us. That was the U.S. being like, go ahead, dude. Yeah. Do something. I wonder, too, if people wanted to use one of those things, and they were like, all right, fuck well, it. Well, that's, that's the... Drop that, it on them. That's another thing, is the first one, Yeah. I believe Hiroshima was, because Nagasaki as well, we dropped mm -hmm. two. Yeah, yeah. And the first one was for Japan, and the second one was for Russia. But we the dropped... second one was like, we looked at Russia while we dropped it, and we were like, dude, this could be you if you don't fucking chill out. Damn. Yeah, dude. The second, you know when John Wick, when uh, he shoots that guy in the head while he's looking at it? Eh, never mind. You won't get that reference. I know exactly what you're talking about, Somebody though. will get it. You know when he's in the party? <laughs> When he fucking attacks the guy's son, and his son is getting out of the hot tub, that was Russia, and we were holding Japan down. We looked Russia in the eyes and fucking God executed damn. him, dude. Fuck. But it also, the only thing that was impressive about it was that it was one bomb, because we we inflicted that much damage and much more casualties in places like Dresden and Tokyo. Okay. Before that. True. So what, what were they so, doing so bad, just for people who don't know? Oh, what Japan they, was doing in yeah. World War II? Um, well, just for people pre -World who don't know. War II, so around when that fucking stud Earhart went down, yeah. <laughs> they raped Nanking. <laughs> Who's Nanking? It was China. They fucking went into China. And just butt-fucked them? It's, it was such a catastrophe that it's actually historically known as the rape of nanking holy fuck it's documented as the rape of so they went through so they got decked out in raiding gear and went into and went fucking, in there like, what? <laughs> and just raped everyone uh, dude it was all japanese men too just fucking yeah all their pussies were blurred out <laughs> they fucked up their dude. tentacles are coming out yeah dude chicks. they did wild shit they i mean they did the fucking Bataan Death March. Dude, they did crazy shit. Like, They're, beyond crazy. Jesus Christ. They and were... they believed their emperor was a god. Yeah, I know that about and Japan. And they were willing to fight to the death. Like, 
So when the U.S., after the atomic bombs, after the emperor got on the radio and was like, I surrender. <laughs> uh, a, a lot of the people would refuse to believe it. The voice of God, and they, basically. Yeah, and they killed themselves. They were jumping off cliffs. They, they were, were hot to fucking stab themselves Japan in the belly. Japan was wild, dude. They do love killing themselves. They, they, if, if Seriously, if anybody in World War II deserved to get hit with the fucking one-two, yeah. Japan may have needed it. All right. That knocked a lot of the bullshit out of them. The Nazis <laughs> definitely needed a good fucking pounding. Okay. But Japan needed a hard fucking like. Well, that goes back to the numbers. Of here's everything. reality. That goes back to the numbers of everything. What What about that? Well, how many people died in in Japan? How many people do you think Japan killed of their own citizens? Of their own citizens? Yeah, or even China See, keep combined in China. China was worse. China killed what? In World War II, people? I believe China is number two in casualties. A lot of people don't know that. It's Soviet Union number one far yeah. and away. What is that, 100, 000, or 100 million peeps? Yeah, it's, you're talking millions. You're not talking... No, in in Soviet Union, it's no one knows. It's like somewhere between 20 and 80 million. So they got the stats. Soviet Union has the hardest stats. Damn. Easily. They had some of the worst, most catastrophic fucking... Jesus. Unbelievable deaths. Like, I mean, Stalingrad was a city that was yeah. under siege for like three years yeah to the point where the, it was cannibalism was rampant everybody was freezing to death there was no food jesus fuck that's how they won they won the war on at like at stalingrad like just waiting out the russians the that russians is, just froze to death that is sick how people say they're like you can't ever I love marx and all this it's like yeah oh, oh yeah well stalin also like was hesitant to evacuate civilians from cities so, like, if he knew the Nazis were close to a city, uh -huh. he wouldn't evacuate the civilians because he was like, it'll actually inspire the troops to fight harder if they know they're defending women and children. Jesus, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah dude. Wild shit. But back to the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got everything. They <laughs> Those fucking, fucking rascals, they, dude. dude. Believe it or not. So the bomb. How many I people mean, died in the bomb? Uh, not, not as many as you'd think. I think yeah. like 80,000. Okay. At once. Yeah, in one flash. One quick Polaroid. Just fucking... Ch -ch -ch everyone's gone. God damn, that's like the Goosebumps book, Say Cheese and Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll say a cheese. That's what, that's what at least one person in Japan said. When the flash happened, he just turned and was like, a cheese. <laughs> oh, my God. No, dude. Oh that's, God. Uh, damn. Yeah, that, that was... Again. Again, again. That's fucking hardcore history. And again. That's so funny. But uh, I watched, there's a documentary on HBO on the bombs, and it's like uh, Black Rain, I think. I saw some of that. Really fucking good, but really fucked up. Yeah, so like, people uh, like melting and shit. Oh, yeah, everybody melted and burned. And oh. it like, if you were at the epicenter of the bombs, it was okay. You just Because it was dust. just fucking, you're evaporated. Yeah. But then, <laughs> that was say cheese and die. Yeah, that was say cheese. Like, oh, cheese. You're fucking <laughs> gone, dude. That's nice. That's a good way to go. Yeah. It's just a flat. You know what's cool? Yeah. A lot of people don't know this. The bomb goes off about a mile up from the ground. Really? The atomic bomb doesn't, doesn't hit the ground. Not a mile. Explode? I think a mile might be exaggerating, but no, it doesn't hit the ground. It's wow. timed to detonate above ground. So it's in the air when it goes and That's it flashes why it has a big mushroom cloud? in the air. I don't know if they're correlated, those That's two. That's fucking crazy. We gotta get one. We gotta get an atomic we get bomb. Some nukes, yeah. yeah. You sound like North Korea right now. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he was saying, dude. Kim Jong Un was like, "Oh, very cool. I need one." <laughs> that's how everyone's like, "We gotta get rid of nukes." I've heard about them now. I'm like, "Damn, these things sound fucking sick." Like, It'd be super sweet if I had one. It is hard to be. We should get rid of all of them, and it's like, "All right, you get rid of them first. It's like exactly. That's what nah. happened. That's what happened. Well, as soon as you, if one person has them, they're in control of the whole world. Exactly. So it's like it's like we did all that weird shit too, where we're like, all right, guys, we can't have these things anymore. Russia, come on, get rid of them. Like, uh, yeah. What about you guys? And we're like, we'll get rid of them too, but fucking come on. Yeah, but first, don't even try to make one. And they're like, well, you guys have one, so get rid of yours and we'll stop. <laughs> like no. And it was like, we know you're not going to stop, dude. <laughs> we knew they weren't going to stop. Yeah. They wouldn't have stopped. They're true. fucking dickheads. Oh, that's true. Uh, but yeah. The fucking Japanese got what they had. God coming, damn, that's dude. a sick take on that. You never hear anyone say that. Well, I mean, anybody that's ever studied history, oh yeah, of course, knows that Japan in World War II uh, was equal imperial wise to to Germany. 
They were just yeah. as they were just as imperial. Like they were taking everything. Well, you don't now. It's like the history books, one page, and it's like white people did a bunch of bad shit. Yeah. Now the history like, pages. It. Now it's like maybe we shouldn't have dropped the bomb. Maybe that was too harsh. And it's like, yeah. dude, what are you talking about? Yeah. That was a fucking display of like, all right, we're done. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's kind of like you ever fight. Like it reminds me of like wrestling with my dog. <laughs> it's like he's biting me. I'm pushing back and forth, but eventually, yeah, you have to hit him with the fucking like chill the fuck out. Yeah, exactly. Fucking just <laughs> fucking hold his head down and be like, that's it. We're done, dude. You're like I'm fucking around with you. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did to Japan. We we're like, dude, we're fucking done. Stop it. Dude, it's so funny, though, that they were, like, running around there looking like Power Rangers bad guys, swinging swords. They were. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, they were, like, they ruled Asia. Yeah, Japan, they, everyone hated Japan. Well, they fucking, they raped Nanking. Jesus, dude. They raped a city. They dude. fucking, they had, uh, territory-wise, I think the largest empire ever. I think. That's so fucking weird. Although the British Empire, pretty good. So they were going in and just fucking busting out the boners, dude. Oh, they, put little, the, they put the swords down and busted out the beast They stingers, went full dude. fucking boners and fucking, yeah, they, dude. They ransacked the city boner first. And just boner came first. In, they like, were like... <laughs> crashing through walls like the Kool-Aid man with the dick out. Like, oh! <laughs> like, a Chinese, not a good, very good peeper. We can uh, very good <laughs> rape them. You just see a dick through your straw hut and you're like, oh! <laughs> Like you're, you're sitting on the floor eating soup and a dick pops through and you're like oh, what a you, all horrible you see, life all you see is the head you're like huh? what a horrible <laughs> fucking life oh the dude what was this the 40s can you imagine getting raped by a bunch of Japanese dudes no I can't oh dude. man <laughs> Just, that the, fucking dude, sucks first of all the, their bushes in the 40s are probably oh, like not touched since puberty full fucking sick ass pubes <laughs> Some Japanese soldier's pubes, dude. Oh, my God. Jesus, dude. Yeah, dude. No, and he, I... like, walked from Japan to rape you. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. walked all the way from Japan. He's got... He can fuck you for... He hopped on a boat. Yeah, he rode and then walked. Yep. And now he's fucking you in your straw hut. And then he's he came over fire. there just to fuck you and then behead <laughs> you. Dude, they did, like... I'm talking, like, babies on bayonets. Like, they Jesus, did Jesus, man. They did the what worst. What the fuck was their problem? Well, it was actually similar to the Nazis... And Soviets, where it was like, these people aren't human. Yeah, yeah. So, like, the government, your emperor, who's a god, is telling you. So, basically, Donald Trump, our yeah. god emperor. Yeah. <laughs> our if, godhead. If Donald Trump was like, Matt and Shane, <laughs> <laughs> these people aren't human. Yeah. We'd be like, sweet, we can kill them. Can we rape them? Rape like, them. Yeah, sure. He'd be like, you should rape them. <laughs> Everybody says you should rape them. You should go rape them. Great. Yeah. But that's Damn, what they did. Dude. They got a little wild. And then they got fucking nuked. <laughs> they got so wild that a nuke was like well, a reasonable... I would say raping an entire city. Yeah. You get nuked. You get nuked. That's the eastern law of karma at display, really. True. That's one... That's the biggest dick yep. of all coming down and just being like... It's oh. a hard dick. It's a flash in the sky. Next thing you know, you're melted. You're a fucking skeleton, dude. Holding a cup of tea, just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that fucking stu- yeah! All right, so I was watching this documentary, yeah, and I was a little more liberal about it at the time. I was at, like, when you watch the documentary, oh, the, yeah, about the bombing. I, of, you you show me some of uh, it, yeah, dude. It gets a little like, damn, I wish we didn't do that. Yeah, like I mean, of course, yeah, you don't want to fucking do that. Of course, you don't I mean, want that. I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> but I was watching, it, and there's a story in that about a house that was on fire. And uh, this guy's brother was inside burning to death, and he had to hold back his own mother, who was trying to kill herself in the fire with her son, who was like, let me die with him. And I was sitting there like, I was a little hungover. I was like, holy fuck, this yeah. is fucking so fucking depressing. Oh, and you my, think you're depressed, yeah. And then my dad was in the kitchen, and he just walked by and was like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, fuck you, Dad. <laughs> I was like, you don't understand, Dad. <laughs> like, You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and he was exactly right, dude. He was exactly right, dude. That was the most American fucking thing he could have said. Good. He was like, yeah, fucking good. He probably, yeah. he probably had some light blue dungarees oh, on, dude. some white grass he had a fucking sneakers, tucked dude. in polo into his fucking dungarees. <laughs> That were not, they just straight cut. <laughs> God damn, dude. This, yeah. like, 
Not how, even paying how attention. How sick is that? He just saw a minor, a fucking Asian person like, and the fire was a very great. And my dad just good and <laughs> kept walking. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Dude, ask an old man Fuck about you, ask an old man about any. Obviously, what's the, what's the old man? Oh, uh, dude, my, policy on the Middle that's East. That's my dad, Middle yeah. East. I remember a long time he was dead serious. Parking we, lot. We eating dinner. He was just like. They should blow that whole thing up and just start over. Yeah, that's an old, it's old not even man like, parking lot debate. Dan, there's people who live there. He's like, yeah, well. yeah, <laughs> literally. Matter. Maybe they shouldn't. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like, like, he's like, Matt, it's never going to get fixed. Just fucking blow the whole thing up. They're just causing problems. It's like <laughs> they're causing problems. I was like, I was like ten. I was like, yeah, I guess we got to blow up the Middle East. All right? And then like I got to like college, and I, people were talking about it, and I was like, I just thought it was the Middle East. There was just like one type of yeah, person. There's one that, thing there's there. just some like dudes. They're Middle Easterners, and they're like, no, there's a bunch of yeah. countries, different governments. And I was like, I don't know, my dad says we should blow them all this up. Is, this is a fucking hot take I'm about to fucking dish out, and it's going to fuel, let's, let's have it, it's dude, gonna fuel our fucking white supremacists. Oh, but no. listen, yeah, it shouldn't, because this is just very honest. <laughs> this is just hour, very honest. Another hour white supremacists now. Our white supremacist listeners fucking feel this shit, dude. They love it. But uh, so in no time in history, yeah, up until the United States... Mm-hmm. Has there been such a gracious empire like yeah. the United States? That's true. In a nut, dude. If the Romans were dealing with the Middle East, yeah, which they did, and they handled it differently because they couldn't. If if any other empire throughout history had the capabilities that the United States has right now, yeah, that would be a parking lot. Well, the Middle East would be a parking lot. North Korea would be a fucking. I mean, it would be just fucking... Oh, they would decimate them instantly. It'd be over immediately. But that's why, because we stand on Christianity, dude. That's why we, we stand don't do on that. Judeo-Christian values, dude. True. That's what our empire was founded upon. That's why. Moral compass. That's, dude, there's nothing wrong with Treat that. Treat others as the way you wish to be treated. That, dude. Secret podcast. We call that the Old Testament. Back when every episode was pure gold with Shane Gillis, our big kahuna, and Matt McCusker bringing the heat every time. Every episode was a non stop laugh fest, the kind that kept you hooked and coming back for more. Shane and Matt were on fire, and so were we. But now, it's a different story. What used to be a comedy powerhouse is now just another cash grab. Half the time Shane's not even there. Instead, we get Matt's unfunny fart friends, guests, and Lamar. The stoner producer who can't get anything right. The spark is gone, replaced by mediocrity and degeneracy. I'm very, very well connected. You are officially blacklisted. You're smashing my wife again. Show some respect. Lamorp's a mess. A stoner who shouldn't be anywhere near a mic. And Matt's so-called friends, they make watching paint dry look exciting. It's like the world stopped turning, the red-hot energy faded to a rusty haze, leaving us with a shell of what MSSB used to be. But fear not, we're here to keep the spirit of the Old Testament alive. We're all about those legendary moments, the laughs and the killer chemistry that made MSSB great. Will the pod ever return to its roots? origin, its fan base, I do not know, nor do I dare to hope, but wherever there is darkness there will be the light to meet it. Welcome to the channel where the Old Testament lives on, relive the magic of man, the genius of Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker. Enjoy my brothers, enjoy.